Hello everyone, this is Jim Nix, and in this video we're going to discuss how you can take advantage of the powerful lens correction and transform tools in Luminar 2018 to straighten vertical lines in your images. I will walk you through a complete edit of this photo, showing how we go from the before image to the after image. I will do all of this using only the raw develop filter in Luminar 2018. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I will begin by opening the filters catalog and selecting raw develop. I'll click Add Filters again to close the filter catalog. Now Raw Develop is a new filter in Luminar 2018, and it's a very powerful one as well. It's an ideal starting point for editing your raw files. In first looking at this photo, what catches my eye is that the buildings on the left are leaning in, as is the doorway on the right side of the frame. This photo was captured with a wide-angle lens, and this is what has caused that distortion. So let's begin fixing it using Raw Develop. I would also like to point out that lens correction and transform are very image specific adjustments, so that requires a custom approach for every photograph. You'll see three tabs at the top of Raw Develop Filter, Adjust, Lens, and Transform. As you can see, Adjust contains temperature, contrast, and other edits, which will give you a lot of control over your image. But first we're gonna to go to the Lens tab and then Transform. Once we straighten up this photo, we'll return to Adjust and make some edits. The Lens tab gives you control over distortion as well as chromatic aberration and devignetting. In this photo, we're going to slightly adjust the distortion slider in order to remove the small amount of barrel distortion caused by the use of a wide angle lens. I think something like that will work. Next, let's move to Transform and make some major adjustments. The biggest issue here is that the buildings appear to be leaning, so we will start with the vertical slider to adjust that. I'm going to move this to the left, and as you can see, this has a huge impact on the photo. However, as you can see, we've also created some gray areas where the photo has been moved, and so let's fix that next. I'll start with the aspect ratio, which has the effect of stretching the photo left to right. This helps me fill some of the gray area on the sides. I think about there looks good. The scale slider is next, which helps to more fully fill the frame with the shot. I'm gonna drag this to the right, and as you can see, the photo essentially zooms toward you a bit. And now we're gonna use the X offset and Y offset sliders to slightly reposition the photo and finalize our perspective corrections. The X offset allows you to slide the photo left and right along the X axis. I wanna slide the photo slightly left to give more room for that doorway on the right hand side of the frame, so a slight adjustment here will cover that. In order to do that, I move the slider to the right. I think that's better. Now I'm going to use the Y offset to bring the photo down into the frame as it's currently too high. So I move this slider to the left and you can see it slides down along the Y axis. I think about that much looks good. I feel like I now have the photo in a proper position and my vertical lines are corrected. You can see a before and after. I think that looks much better. However, I still have a small amount of gray space in a couple of spots so I'll use the Crop tool to crop the photo and remove those areas. I just go to the Tools menu and choose Crop. Here I'll choose the 3 to 2 aspect ratio, which is what the photo was originally captured in, and then I can just drag the corner to adjust my crop. I'm also going to slide the photo within the crop frame over so that that entire doorway and doorbell on the right side are within the new crop. Once I'm happy with my crop, I just select Done and I'm returned to my main editing window. Let's quickly do a before and after comparison. There's before and there's after. You can see that we've significantly straightened the vertical lines in this photo, and now we can begin our edits on the Adjust tab of the Raw Develop filter. What I would like to do to the photo at this point is to create more of a twilight look while making some minor adjustments to the light and shadow. This is all easily done in the Raw Develop filter using the Adjust tab. So let's click on that and begin. I'm gonna begin by adjusting the white balance. With a raw file, you have multiple choices from the drop-down menu right here, as well as the ability to use the eyedropper to select a target neutral color. However, I'm going to use the temperature and tint sliders so that I can customize this to my specific taste. I think I'll move the temperature slightly left and the tint slightly to the right. I think that looks good. It's a minor change, but I think it fits with the look I'm trying to achieve. Next up, I'm going to increase the contrast because it is lacking in this raw file, so I'm going to go ahead and drag that about to there. And then I'm going to reduce the highlights in order to slightly darken the sky. I think something like that looks good. 
My final touch is a slight bump in clarity just to give it a little pop and a little more depth. I think about that will do. I think this looks great and now I'm finished with the photo. Let me show you before and after. Here's the before and here's the after. When you make that comparison, you can see that we've come a long way with just this single raw develop filter. In addition to adjusting all the vertical lines, we completely edited the photo with a few basic adjustments in the raw develop filter. And as you can see, a few minor adjustments really do go a long way. That's the power of Luminar 2018. Thank you for watching.